In today's video, we're gonna be covering the use of a Siemens uh, DPU programming device unit. Uh, to begin with, we're gonna need the Siemens DPU unit. We're gonna, in our case, I'm gonna be programming a Siemens TRI module over here. In addition to a smoke, which is a Siemens over here, OP921. And a programming tool, a programming cable to program the action module over here. Without further ado, let's start. So, in order for us to begin, we have to turn on the actual power to the unit, which is going to be on the left hand side. The unit is going to be turning on. What we're going to do, we're going to start uh, programming the panel first of all. So, where we're going to go, we're going to go to setup over here. We're going to choose system. Over here, we got different communication panel platforms. So first of all, it's gonna be the MXL, FS100, FS250 slash 500, XLS slash FC. In our case, I would like to program, first of all, the smoke. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna choose F, XLS FC. We're gonna go exit first, exit second time. We're gonna remove the cover and twist to its place over here. We're gonna choose program over here. We're gonna change the loop from loop number one into loop number two. So we're gonna click at zero, zero, 002. Address gonna be changed into address 129 in our case. We're just gonna type 129. Then we're gonna click program over here. It's gonna identify the device, which is FDO421 or OP921. Once the program done, it's gonna say program okay. And basically we finish. However, the before we allow to remove the head, we're gonna have to click exit first. And then we allow to remove the head. At the moment, the head is programmed into loop number two, device 129. Now, we're going to program the actual TRI-S module. To do so, we're going to first of all have to pick up the actual programming cable over here. Now, if we're looking closely, you're going to find like a leap over here. Okay? That leap is going to be our negative lead. So we're going to have to turn the unit upside down, open the actual cover, and connect it to the negative side over here. The leap again goes to the negative side. Once it's done, we're going to turn it back up. We're going to turn on the unit again. We're going to change the setup from XLS into MXL. Okay. We're going to click exit once, exit twice. We're going to insert the one with the lip over here once again. The other side is going to go directly into the module over here. Then I'm going to choose program over here. It's going to connect to the device. It's going to identify it as a, a TRI AL. At the moment, it's set up into normally open. So we're gonna change it. Uh, first of all, we're gonna change the address. We're gonna leave it as address 25. We're gonna click next. A loop is okay, loop number one. 
we're gonna we can choose between normally open and normally close in our case I'm gonna leave it as a normally open and the trouble over here I would like to change it again so what I'm gonna do I got three separate options I'm gonna choose the upper one I can leave it as a normally open trouble status or alarm in our case I would like to leave it as alarm what left us to do is just choose program over here gonna wait a few seconds okay program is okay what left us to do is click exit the LED gonna stop flashing over here which means the programming is basically done see you next video